Nolora Mata is the first rangeland management area in Tanzania to reintroduce traditional rotational grazing and fire management. For open range grassland restoration for the joint benefits of people and wildlife. The Serengeti Mara ecosystem at the border of Tanzania and Kenya holds the last remaining mass migration of wildebeest in the world. Each year, more than a million ungulates migrate between their dry season refuge and wet season calving areas. An unrivaled, unique site on this planet, yielding important tourism revenues to Kenya and Tanzania. But the wet season calving ranges of this migration are mostly situated outside core protected areas making the future of these migrations dependent on continued coexistence with the Maasai pastoralists living in these areas. In the last 10 years, the Loita Plains in Kenya became lost as a wet season calving range due to land subdivision and fencing, blocking this Kenya's own migration completely. But instead of going extinct, recent monthly counts show that this migration likely has shifted to the Loliondo Plains in Tanzania. With these Loliondo Plains now used by hundreds of thousands of migrants as a calving area, five villages are responsible for this area, situated since 2022 fully outside any protected area. The Maasai here traditionally separate this area into wet season grazing areas on the open plains versus the dry season areas. These Loliondo plains form a unique landscape of critical importance to the future of both people and wildlife. The local Maasai pastoralists strongly depend on livestock for their livelihood and cultural traditions where both livestock and livestock require the same thing, open, healthy grazing land. At the start of the wet season in December, large numbers of wildlife now visit the Loliondo Plains, seeking safe calving grounds, where the zebra are the first to have their falls, followed by the wildebeest to calf from January onwards. They are joined by several other hoofed mammals and their predators. At the same time, also many bird species join the grazers to breed at the Loliondo Plains. In the open grasslands, livestock and wildlife coexist well. But increases in sheep and goat numbers and abandonment of fire have now also led to extensive bush encroachment in the plains. while degrading the once productive grasslands into more and more bare soil. Combined with increasing climate variability, this led to increasing catastrophic livestock mortality events, such as in 2022, calling for rangeland restoration, such as through bush clearing, rotational grazing and fire. This motivated the Maasai communities of the five villages to increasingly discuss the future management of their rangelands. During 2023, they met extensively to discuss alternative rangeland management options. With an equal voice of men and women.
then deciding to engage in a large demonstration experiment, testing options for grassland restoration through bush clearing. making thorn fences to exclude one hectare plots from livestock grazing during one wet season, This then produced a lot of ungrazed biomass at the start of the 2023 dry season. Allowing then the plots to be burned, the first fires in Loliondo Plains in 20 years. In December 2023, the previously cleared and burned plots were much improved in grazing quality for both livestock and wildlife. And the Maasai communities were very happy with the result. They now want to apply this restoration at a much larger landscape scale. 5,000 hectares, 50 square kilometers, 12,000 acres in the next four years with the ambition to expand from 5 to 11 villages to cover all plains in the region. To achieve this ambition, they now have registered Nolaramata, a community-based organization under Tanzania law. But they need our support 